ZK Web is officially live and I'm so excited. I've spent a lot of time creating this, so I wanted to go ahead and demonstrate how this works so you all can start using it. And if you're interested in being a contributor, I'm going to tell you how you can get involved with that too. The purpose of ZK Web is to bring the concept of zero knowledge proofs to the web and basically make them uh, usable by everyone. If you're not familiar with zero knowledge proofs and what they are, there's an in-depth overview on ethereum.org that basically explains what this is, where it came from, and why it's useful. Basically, this is a concept of applied cryptography, where a zero-knowledge proof is a way of proving the validity of some statement without revealing the statement itself. So one party, the prover, can prove to another party, the verifier, that something is true, but without revealing what that specific something is. Put another way, the idea behind this is basically this equation y equals the hashed value of x. So it would be basically impossible to ever discover the value of x if we only knew y. However, I'll draw it again, if we know the hashed value of x and we can get these two sides of the equation to evaluate equal to each other, then there may be a way for us to prove that because we know the hashed value of x, we therefore know x. But we never have to actually say what x is, we just have to have the hash. So it's kind of a simplified example of the overall concept. The math behind this is, I think, extremely fascinating, so I highly recommend reading through this if you find it interesting. The reason why this is important is because this is really a breakthrough in digital security and privacy. Using this concept, you could prove identity or verify data integrity without having to divulge personal information. Now, I actually had several people reach out to me and say that they wanted to build something that leveraged this concept for digital privacy. But the problem was that this math is really complicated and it was difficult and expensive and time consuming to build anything that, any kind of infrastructure that really supported being able to use this. So my idea for ZK Web was to create something that made this accessible to anybody. And hopefully it's something that developers can continue to build on top of and we can really start to see this used more in technology technology for data privacy and data integrity. So first of all, when you come to ZK Web, if we click get started, we can take a look at the documentation. I spent hours trying to make this as user friendly and easy to understand as possible. Now, thankfully, there's a JavaScript library that exists called Zocrates.js that I was able to use to build this project on top of. So I wanted to give a big shout out to the Zocrates project, which is also open source and free to use. Basically, it's a toolbox for creating these zero knowledge proofs. OK, it's a toolbox for ZK snarks on Ethereum. I'll come back to this in a little bit for those of you who are interested in understanding more about how this is built. But for now, I want to just go ahead and show the demo of how this works. I've created an example proof here. And actually, even though I haven't officially posted about the launch everywhere yet, we already have a couple people starting to create proofs on here, which is so cool. But eventually, there will hopefully be lots of proofs that have been created. So the way you can find your proof is just by entering the title, the name that you gave it, and searching for it. And that way, it will bring up the proof that that you want to um, use. So we'll click on that. This is an example proof that I already set up and it's covered in the documentation. I generated this proof for the key super secret key. So you have to know that the message key for this proof is super secret key. So if you enter any other text in here, if you change either even one letter or one character of the key, super secret key, you're going to get a false response. Now I set this up so that both the person who generated the proof and the person who is submitting a key will be able to receive an email notification whenever they submit a, a valid key to the proof. That way, the person who generated this proof will see someone associated with this email address has submitted a valid key. So they know that you knew the correct secret key without ever having to tell them what the key was. For now, this supports a text option, a date, or even a file upload. For the text, I think I limited this to four or 5,000 characters. I've seen it work with uh, up to as many as 53,000 characters. So you could put quite a long message in here, and I'd love to expand that over time. But for now, this is the correct key. So I can click prove and then we get to hang out with Pac-Man for a little bit. The process does take a little bit of time because we have to generate an entire proof on the back end and check it against the existing proof that was generated for this key and make sure that the key is an exact match for the one that was used to generate the proof. And it's correct. Now, if I was to eliminate, say, the exclamation point from the end of the super secret key and try to prove it, not correct. The key we submitted did not exactly match the key that was used to generate this proof. So we got a not correct response. 
So you can test that same proof out yourself. It's right here in the documentation. Go and try, try different inputs. You'll see that it has to be exactly this input in order to work. So let's say you want to generate your own proof. You have your own secret key and you want other people to prove whether or not they know that key. In that case, let's do an example right now. We'll generate our own proof. This time we'll use a date input just to show how that one works. We'll call this one date example and we'll use today's date, which is February 4th. So we'll say 2-4-2024, just so we remember what the key is for this one. Put in our email, and then we'll just go ahead and grab today's date. This is gonna define today's date as the key from which our zero, zero knowledge proof is gonna be generated and anyone else will be able to submit a key to the proof we're gonna generate. And if they submit any other date, but today's date, February 4th, 2024, it's not gonna be correct. So we'll just go ahead and generate this proof. Success, a new proof has been generated for your key and it's gonna give us this URL. So we could just copy this and we could send it to anyone that we want to visit our proof and prove that they know the secret date. But even if we forgot to copy that URL, it's okay. We could always just search for what we named this proof and find it right here. Now let's go back to the prover page. Put in our email and the data type is a date and we will select today's date. And it's correct. The key we submitted matched the one that was used to create the proof. Now, of course, if let's say we go to yesterday and we try to put in February 3rd, 2024, of course, we're going to get a not correct match. So this makes it really, really easy to generate your own zero knowledge proofs for any secret key value that you have or to prove knowledge of the secret key for a proof that has been generated. You don't have to know or understand all of the behind the scenes cryptographic math that takes place. All you have to do is click a couple buttons and it's gonna just work and it's hosted out here for you. So anyone can find the proof you created and go to it and prove it. You don't have to worry about finding some way to store the record of accurate proof generation. You'll receive an email that looks like this from the ZK Web project. This is a message from your friends at ZK Web letting you know that a correct key for your proof was just provided by in the email that was given. That's really all there is to the workflow of this app. It's really, really simple to use. Now, if you're a developer who is a little bit curious about how this is built, I wanted to just briefly go over some of the kind of high level overview of the technical specifications of how I built this. First of all, you can call these endpoints um, to verify proofs in your own project. So if I pull up Postman here, this is the base URL and this is all in the documentation, ZK web slash API slash prove. In the request body of this um, post endpoint, all you have to do is give it the same, uh, pass in the same data that we're passing in from the UI. So the proof ID, which you can always grab from the URL. So it's just gonna be this last um, bit of the URL for the prover right here. Pass that in along with the data type, whether you're using text, date, or file. Pass in your key as a string, which is either the full string of text, the date in milliseconds, or the base URL of an image file that you uploaded. And then the email that you wanna receive confirmation at. So if I hit this endpoint from Postman, I get back a response of true because the key value that we provided is the correct key for the example proof, which is the one that we called using this proof ID right here. So you can come to the ZK web app, generate a proof, and then be able to build it into your own application to call that proof whenever you want to and verify any key is correct or not. And there is an API uh, section in the documentation that explains the format of what's expected for um, the request body and size limits and all that sort of stuff. I wanted to add that because I really want to encourage developers to be able to build with zero knowledge proofs. Now, as far as how this was built, the first thing that's important to note is Socrates, like I mentioned earlier. The Socrates toolbox is basically a way to uh, generate and compute zero knowledge proofs on Ethereum. Um, ZK snarks were designed to run in the EVM, the Ethereum virtual machine. So it actually runs from Solidity code, which I can show you in a second. But Socrates.js is their JavaScript bindings for this Socrates toolbox. So it basically allows us to be able to take advantage of this Socrates functionality and run a 
initialized as Socrates provider in our node API. So that's what I used to create this. So if you come down to technical implementation in uh, the documentation that I created, you can read about exactly how I implemented Socrates JS. Basically, I'm creating a unique cryptographic hex hash from the secret key input string. Then we initialize Socrates, and I'm actually using uh, actual Solidity code for this. So this Solidity program could be run on a blockchain as a smart contract. It basically just defines the logic to make sure that key input is matching. If I then take the hashed key input value and pass it into the Socrates JS compute witness method along with the compiled version of this Solidity code and generate a proof from that. This gives us an output of an array of 228 bit integers that represent the input. And because this is created in JavaScript, these numbers are actually too large for JavaScript. Even big int couldn't handle 128 bit integers. So I did a little bit of JavaScript magic to break those down into four separate segments and then combine them back together. And we recompile the Solidity code and then save a version of the Solidity program that will only return to true for that specific input. And then the same thing basically happens on the prover side. When they submit a key, we hash it, pass it into Socrates and generate a proof. Then we take the inputs array from the newly generated proof and pass that in with the proof that we're checking against and we see if it's a match. If you wanna look at exactly how I did it, this is the code repository on GitHub. Feel free to look through it, clone it, use it for whatever you want. Check out the readme to help you get started. And if you're interested in becoming a contributor, I would love to have people um, help me maintain this and build upon this and make it better. So there's instructions here in the readme also. If you wanna become a contributor, reach out to zkwebproject at gmail.com and let me know. And I would love to help you get set up with building this. I think that's it. Hopefully I covered everything. I think for anything that I didn't, there should be enough documentation that can help you answer uh, questions that you have. And if not, feel free to reach out to me and I would love to chat with you more about it. So thanks for watching and let me know what you think about ZK Web.